the ingredients. So you grab a handful of uh, ingredients, it's just like that, then you know. Nice, crunchy, crispy. Okay. For your event, and uh, so put a little bit of water, dump this basil in the water. Like a magic. Guys, watch this. Boom, 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 baby, watch this. That's what I'm talking about. Bigger and make it 280 grams. Go ahead and add like a little bit more of water and uh, let's go ahead. And that's what I do. So one, two, they're nicely right there. Look at this. And uh, I'm uh, basically cooking the ragu sauce. Whoa, hello guys from my history, Gio Copelli. Welcome back to my channel. Boom, 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 guys. I have uh, a lot of ingredients here. So, I mean, don't pay attention of the ingredients because uh, I just went to the local store close to here and then bought something. And then I had this idea. It's going to be really helpful for you um, because uh, the last thing that you want to do is uh, waste food. Throw away leftover food or uh, make too much ingredients. So today I'm going to teach you how to know how much ingredients you need to prepare for 10 pizzas, 15 pizzas, 20 pizzas. Today I have a, basically a pizza party to do. So uh, 15 people are coming, so we're gonna make 15 pizzas. Uh, I usually uh, I see people that prep too much or prep too low. How to measure, uh, how to know how much uh, mushroom I need, how to know how much mozzarella do I need. I know uh, how know the, the sauce, you know, we don't want to prep too much, we don't want to waste food. That's what we're gonna do today. Prep ingredients for 15 pizzas. So uh, if you are new, go ahead, subscribe because, oh man, it's, it's getting hot here today. Uh, sit down, watch until the end because this is gonna be uh, fantastic. And uh, no secret guys, and of course, I always say everything how it is, I'm real, that's how I am. Even the pizza dough. I'm going to teach you uh, how much water do we need for the pizza dough, how much polish, salt, everything. So let me get right away the polish out from the fridge made last night. I mean, take, take a look. Ooh, take a look of this polish. Beautiful, nice and strong. So I don't want to waste too much time. Uh, I don't want to waste too much of, of uh, your valuable time. Let me set up everything here. In the meantime that I'm making the dough, I'm gonna explain to you how much we need. The goal is uh, for me to let you understand how much you need for 10, for five, for 50, for 20. So sit down, write it down, get a pen, and boom, 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 baby. Let's go. So basically today I'm making 15 pizzas. So how I calculate that? Um, anyway, for the full recipe that I'm gonna leave in the description or please check out my full channel. Every, remember this, every pizza is 100 milligrams of water. If we're making 15 pizzas today, we have a total of one liter and a half of water. So 1.500 milliliter, uh, milli, uh, milliliter of water. We're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, add 500 milliliters of water. So before I'm gonna put uh, the salt which goes uh, every liter of water 40 grams. So let's mix everything up. Voila. And now it's time to get uh, to make the recipe. The machine and little by little add the water. So, voila, we got the, so and now we are gonna add the rest of the flour, the remaining of flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour little by little. And so total, 1.5, 1 1.500 milliliters of water makes 15 pizzas, 250 grams each. So I suggest always, oh, oh, I'm gonna slow down this. I always suggest if you want to make uh, uh, the, the pizza a little bit bigger and make it 280 grams, go ahead and uh, add uh, like a little bit more of water and uh, increase the recipe a little bit. So while this is mixing, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> right away, let's prepare the, the cheese, how we calculate the cheese. Uh, so each pizza, if you want to go extra, it's uh, 100 grams each pizza. So basically, it's two ways to um, to understand how 
if you want to be precise, go ahead and scale 100 grams each pizza. So by 15 is one kilo and 500 grams of uh, mozzarella. So in this case, what I do to make it fast, to make it easy, is uh, oh, you go like this and scale this, or basically I cut it. The easiest way for me is because not everybody have a, a scale at home. So I always scale like this. I aim for each pizza to make it fast. Or you just go ahead and uh, buy one kilo of mozzarella if you're gonna make 10 pizzas. If you're gonna go make five, you buy 500 grams of cheese. So let's go ahead and that's what I do. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Voila, 15. So this is the first ingredient that we made. For 15 pizzas, boom, the cheese. And always I suggest to be organized with, <coughs> organized with, uh, uh, with ingredients when you prepare and put it always where you can see it. This way we know how much and what we have ready or not. Tomato sauce is very simple and very easy to do. So this is the tomato sauce that we have. That's the whole tomato. So let's go ahead and let's prepare the tomato sauce. The, we can speed up the, the dough machine. Once all the flour is all integrated in the dough, that's when you know that it's ready. A little bit of a pinch of salt. Voila, and a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead, mash that with your hands. We want the chunk, we want, we want the chunk of tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? We want to taste the flavor, we want to taste that. And of course, this is, uh, if we want to be precise, it's 80 grams of uh, tomato sauce each pizza. But in this case, because I'm going to make 10 pizzas red, I'm going to go ahead and use 10 nice full spoon of tomato sauce. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Voila. Oh, we got the second ingredient. We got the second ingredients done. Very easy, guys. So and now let's go ahead with the basil. You want to prepare. You want to be sure to prepare everything for your pizzas, guys, because you don't want to run in the kitchen and get the, the the basil. So that's it. So it depends how much you want to put each pizza. So I want to put four or five lid of basil each. I want to. Eric. So I'm gonna let it rest because it's a little sticky right now. So let it rest and this way builds the glutens up. So start, stop right there. If you want to make, it depends on many uh, leaves you want to put on the, the pizza, I usually put uh, five, six and uh, so that's how I go. You don't win, you don't want to be precise. So two, five, six, eight, nine, and fifteen. Voila guys, so we got the, the base. So this one, don't throw it away, put a little bit of water Put a little bit of water, put it in a container that I don't have, or a cup, and leave it like this. You want to make sure that the basil stays nice and fresh for your, your party or for your, for your event. And so put a little bit of water, dump this basil in the water. Make sure it's wet. Just like that. And uh, even if it's, uh, your basil is a little mushy, your baseball in a little bit is gonna be become boom, nice and straight. So voila, we got the most important ingredients: tomato sauce, basil, and fresh mozzarella. So let's go ahead, let's put it right here. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. I'm gonna go ahead and make some vegetarian uh, pizzas and uh, uh, some uh, ragu sauce, basil. Uh, pesto and things like this. So you don't want to prepare a lot uh, of uh, ingredients. So what you do is uh, just cut a handful and uh, you you know how many mushroom you need to prepare. So uh, probably we're gonna make three pizzas with mushroom. So what I do, I just cut uh, mushroom that I want to put on three pizzas. So usually, you, you, usually it's uh, a handful of ingredients. So I think this is a good amount of, I'm going to go extra a little bit, just in case someone wants a little bit too more. 
Voila. So this is how you, how you prepare the, uh, the ingredients. So you grab a handful of uh, ingredients, just like that. Then you know that this is good for one pizza. So we have about three pizzas with mushroom. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna prepare. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and pre-cook those with a little bit of, uh, um, of uh, the other toppings. So the main important one are the cheese, the tomato sauce and the mozzarella. Please comment below if you didn't understand something and then I will, for sure, I will reply to you. Let's get back to the, uh, to the oh, actually, actually I have other, another very important nice in pizza is which is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make some ragu sauce and uh, mix with the uh, whipping cream, which is a uh, really, I really like it together. So whipping cream as a base, uh, a little bit of uh, ragu sauce and the fresh mozzarella on top. It's so delicious. So let's go back in, uh, uh, in the dough process. Then I'm gonna explain to you a couple other things. So let's go ahead. And uh, guys, don't, don't forget, share this with friends because uh, it's very important for not wasting the food. This video needs to be shared because a lot of people, again, they make too many ingredients because they are worried too much. After this video, after you watch this video, you'll be good. <laughs> you, for sure, you're not gonna waste some food. Okay, let's get back to the dough. So now we're gonna speed it up at the max speed until it's detached. Voila, guys, uh, done with, uh, uh, with the dough. In the meantime, I put some, uh, look at this. I put some, the mushroom on cooking. Voila. Put some rosemary, salt and pepper, and uh, I'm gonna roast it a little bit. I put the ragu sauce uh, starting already. And now, so now let's get inside the dough. Little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands. That's why there, this, today we didn't add any oil because I'm gonna go ahead and add little by little on the, while we're making the dough. Take this out, boom, boom, boom. So let's get the dough out. Of course, we're gonna give it a nice little touch again because the kitchen ain't when you put too much. Let's go ahead, let's do this. Work a little bit until it's, the goal is to keep the dough nice and smooth. Put a little bit of olive oil on top of your hands, the spatula, and clean up everything. Okay, all of all your hands, so now 15 minutes like this, leave it there. Let me bring it with me, guys. I wanna show you what I'm doing here. Boom, 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 we got the mushroom done. They are sitting right there nicely, right there. Look at this. And uh, I'm uh, basically cooking the ragu sauce. Uh, actually, this is just ragu. I'm not gonna put the sauce on the pizza. It's beautiful to get this, uh, like this, nice white with a white white cream whipping cream you'll, you'll see later maybe i maybe i make the pizza and at the very very end of this video i show you so i'm gonna get this cook for about one hour with the lid on and a very low temperature and then now let's see the dough the structure of the dough see it's building the gluten so let me set you here ready for the second step okay guys so second step is uh, arrived, have arrived. So a little bit of uh, olive oil. Get the olive oil in the, get the olive oil in the container because uh, this way it's gonna be more easy to, to manage the dough, take it out the dough actually. So let's go ahead, tap, tap, tap on top. Detach it and now guys, quick, quick movement. We have to make a nice ball and smooth like a magic guys watch this boom 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 baby watch this that's what i'm talking about the magic is happening wow so now boom 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 get the container done right there get the container done right there and uh, this one pop voila the dough it's a little bit of a uh, Olive oil on top of the dough, this way it doesn't get the crust. Choo, choo, choo. Voila, fast, guys. 
boom, the dough eats ready, okay, guys. So at this point, we let it rest for one hour at room temperature, and then we're gonna make the balls. We are there. Five we're gonna start this party around six o'clock, so uh, the dough have plenty of time to rest. So one hour in the container, and leave it, leave it there. Ooh, guys, done, finish. Baby's asleep, so <laughs> just wanna let you know, I just wanna show you uh, what I have done this hour. Because in the meantime, the dough it grows so much, and uh, this is how it looks like. This is how it looks like after one hour. Lovely, nice, fermented. You can see the bubble under on the top. Looks fantastic. So now, at this point, we are ready to make the balls. But before then, I want to show you what I prepare. So the combination of the ingredients that we have. So remember. The tomato sauce, it's uh, 80 grams a spoon for each pizza. So, boom, voila, we got the tomato sauce. The cheese is 100 grams each pizza, handful of mozzarella, and uh, boom, done for 15 pizzas. The basil, let me show you after one hour how it looks like. You see, in the water, it spring up nicely and green. Take a look. Nice and fresh. So we're gonna keep it in the water. See, voila. So by the way, this is a, it's a, it's a party of my friends, so I'm not able to to show you the pizzas, but uh, I will try to make the some pizzas here and there, and then I leave the video at the very end. So make sure <laughs> watch until the end and uh, uh, leave a like and share. So this is the mushroom, just a little bit, nice and roasted. We got the ragu sauce. This is how it looks like, nicely. Uh, so this pizza is with uh, whipping cream. Try, hard to believe, but whipping cream is really good on the pizza. Taste to believe before you come in bed. And with uh, ragu sauce and fresh mozzarella. So that's the first pizza that we're gonna make special. Hopefully I can make a, uh, a picture. So this pizza, it's, uh, I made, uh, I fry like a couple of uh, eggplant. Take a look how beautiful they are. Looks like French fries but they are uh, fried eggplant, so I left it inside the container with the uh, towel. So this is a, a portobello mushroom cream that we're gonna put the base of this with uh, fresh mozzarella, then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna put some eggplant and a little bit lightly of walnuts. Perfect for winter time. Voila, done with this. We leave this open, this way they don't get mushy. We want to get it nice and crispy. Then I prepare here some uh, rapini with uh, jalapeno, nice spicy for the pizza, it's perfect. Very simple white pizza or even margherita pizza with those, it's perfect to perfect combination. Uh, one of my favorite one is, uh, is this one here. It's uh, with a base of uh, basil pesto with uh, some roasted, beautiful, take a look, roasted, beautiful uh, uh, bell pepper with capers and parsley. I, I'm gonna put this uh, herbs, cheese on top, grounded outside. Hopefully I was really clear on the, how much ingredients do you need for pizzas. And uh, now the moment to do true is, uh, we have to see that the recipe that I made, it's perfect 15 pizza. So let's go ahead. Let's take it out and let's create the balls. Take it out, see? Comes out right away. See the container, nice and clean. Nice, take a look, beautiful. Now let's go ahead, let's make the balls. You guys can see how to make the balls in my channel. I have everything about pizza. So I'm gonna fast forward this this clip. Okay guys, like you can see here, we have 14 pizzas. Why then? Because the pizzas is uh, 280, 270 grams. So, uh, so basically is, uh, I wanted to make uh, uh, the pizza a little bit bigger, nice and puffy. So that's the reason why are 14 and not 15. So uh, guys, for that, smash the like every 100 milligrams equals one pizza. So now I'm gonna let it rest for two hours at room temperature and then we're gonna make the pizzas. So 
uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see if i can make some clip here and there uh, of the pizzas and also to show you how the crust come out but uh, hopefully this video was really helpful for you smash the like subscribe and share this video thank you so much from maestro video copelli i'll see you at the next one ciao this is the dough how it looks like after two hours nice and strong and voila guys this is the set with all the ingredients we got the base of the meat the rapini the mushroom everything set to make the pizza so let's go ahead and let's make it like you can see the dough is full of air and uh, strong that's what we pizza how it looks like nice crunchy crispy so now we're gonna finish this pizza with the crispy eggplant voila now a little bit of basil we chop some basil on top voila 